Welcome back to We Will Crypto. It's June 29, 2024, and I'm your host, Anonymous. Today, we've got a jam-packed episode covering the hottest topics in the crypto world. We'll dive into how Ether and Solana are taking the spotlight away from Bitcoin amid the latest ETF hype. We'll get the latest on the SEC's back and forth with Ethereum's ETF issuers. We'll learn about the new IRS rule requiring crypto firms to report trades aimed at curbing tax evasion. And lastly, we'll explore the SEC's lawsuit against Consensus, the developer behind MetaMask. Let's begin. First up, Bitcoin's performance is overshadowed by Ether and Solana as the hype around U.S. cryptocurrency exchange-traded funds shifts to these smaller digital assets. Solana surged significantly after VanX filed for an ETF for the token, and Ether has been pulling ahead of Bitcoin this year. Analysts are bullish on the potential for Ether ETFs predicting significant inflows as final approvals near. Meanwhile, Bitcoin's earlier limelight has dimmed since the initial surge of spot ETFs earlier this year. Next, let's talk about the latest on Ethereum ETFs. The SEC has returned the S1 forms to prospective Ethereum ETF issuers with light comments, asking for revisions and refiling. This indicates that while progress is being made, there are still hurdles to clear before these ETFs can go live. The final approvals may come later this summer, but the exact timeline remains uncertain. This very much likely is going to change the expected July 4th date that many were expecting. And in regulatory news, the Treasury Department announced a new rule requiring most crypto brokers to disclose transaction proceeds to the IRS starting in 2026. This rule aims to curb tax evasion and will make tax reporting for crypto transactions similar to traditional financial services. While decentralized exchanges are currently excluded, further reporting requirements could be introduced. And finally, the SEC has sued Consensus, the company behind the popular MetaMask wallet, for allegedly failing to register as a broker and for unregistered security sales. This lawsuit is part of the SEC's broader crackdown on the crypto industry. Interestingly, the SEC's charges don't name Ethereum as a security, a point of contention that has significant implications for the industry. And that wraps up today's episode of We Will Crypto. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated with the latest in crypto news. I'm your host, Anonymous, and I'll see you next time.